the hazards on, so it's okay. <laughs> so it's Sunday, January 14th. We're discussing the challenges of driving and parking in San Jose. Is that a nice way to term, yeah. term it? Yeah, challenges. Challenges, yeah. People who park in a no parking red zone, you know, because it's a good place to park. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, we got in and out of the grocery store fairly quickly. Yay! We had to go out and get some food because we were lazy and didn't do it yesterday. And the kids are coming over for dinner tonight, so uh, we need to have stuff to feed them. <laughs> Feeding them is good. Feeding them is good. Polyus eats a lot. He's a growing boy. Oh, God, does he eat a lot. Yeah. So anyway, we're headed home now to have some lunch. Uh, probably do a, a quick sweep of the house to make sure things are decently clean and... Hubby's probably going to make popcorn and watch football, and um, I might try to squeeze in a couple small business things. We'll see. Yep, we'll see. All right, that's it. We'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, January 15th. I am out headed over to physical therapy. I decided to walk because this Monday morning started off a little bit frantic. I think it's just because I woke up late and didn't have all the time I thought I would have this morning to get stuff done before I left to go to physical therapy. And Anyway, I cut a couple things out that didn't need to be done before I went to therapy. And uh, I'm going to walk over there. It'll help calm me down a bit, I think. It is overcast out, but you know, if it rains, I'm not gonna melt or anything, so I'm not too worried. And uh, it does kind of smell like a sewer outside, so I don't know what that's about, anyway. All right, that's it right now. I still have to eat my breakfast bar. I'll be back. purging thing is working when you go into one of your favorite clothing stores and you're just not inspired to buy anything. Hey everybody, it is Tuesday, January 16th, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, January 16th. Um, and it's late in the evening, it's like 10.30 at night, I forgot all day to film anything. I was chatting all day with friends. I didn't sleep well last night and um, I woke up not feeling good probably because I didn't sleep well. So then it kind of just messed up my whole day. I did do a few journal pages and I'll try to insert some pictures here somewhere. Um, and I did some sketching. I didn't get my sketching done last night but I did catch up on it today and yeah, I got some video edited. One of the video clips, which will air next month in February, at the end of the month, has the wrong title in it. <laughs> and the thumbnail was all messed up, and I didn't notice until after I deleted all the clips, so I apologize in advance. <laughs> it's going to air on February 28th. And yeah, it'll be a topic of conversation on the YouTube channel, I'm sure. So anyway, uh, I'm only human. I screw up. Um, that's it for right now, I think, for this evening. I will be back with you tomorrow, and I have some errands to do, and I have some more art one I want to do. I've got to catch up on my filming for my creative year and my commitments to my giant life and explorations of me. So... My goal is to get those filmed this, this week um, and hopefully edited. So, 
across your fingers. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll Good morning. Be back. It is Wednesday morning, January 17th, pretty sure. And I'm um, getting ready to go out onto the garage where my treadmill is and get some steps in. And uh, I just finished my morning coffee. <coughs> I have to go run some errands. I'm going to take you all with me. I am going to address some comments and concerns on the vlogs uh, regarding safety while I'm driving. And we will be going over that. And of course, I take all precautions. Um, of course, I do. Personally, I've been in way too many car accidents that were somebody else's fault um, to not take precautions. And I am uber concerned about my safety and others always, especially while I'm driving. So y'all don't know me in real life, but yeah, I have anxiety issues. So yeah, that's one of my things. <laughs> uh, it's a trigger. Uh, I use a hands-free device. I set the camera to film before I leave the driveway. I stop it after I've parked the car and turn it off. I talk to myself. I know frequently it looks like I'm looking at the camera, but the camera is right there where I have to look out the windshield to drive the car. Um, I'll show you all my setup today. I think it's probably a good thing and we're gonna run a couple errands and anyway, I'm gonna go get my steps in and I'll be back. <laughs> Morning, everyone so I've had some questions recently about concerns regarding me filming while I'm driving and am I abiding by laws and being safe <laughs> of course I am uh, I'm not the kind of person to not do that uh, anyway I've been um, prompted I think to share with you exactly what I do when I'm driving um, and why I'm <laughs> I usually cut it out of the video. I guess I'll leave it in this week. I usually complain at some point on the vlog about how long it takes me to edit said vlog. I usually try to cut that out, but um, it takes a long time because I just film a bunch of clips. I just let the camera roll, which means I have to sit and watch all the clips and not only shorten the time down because you don't want to watch me uh, for two hours vlogging um, and usually the clips amount to at least an hour and a half if not two hours or more sometimes um, but I just ramble on about stuff nobody cares about <laughs> um, because I start the camera before I leave uh, like from my driveway which we're in right now and then I stop it when I'm done and parked the car and turn the car off so that's my habit of what I do um, I will show you here is my steering wheel obviously and this is my camera mount so it sits right here while I'm driving hands-free I like I said I turn the camera on and I just let it roll I usually have it facing me so I just am while I'm driving looking out the windshield and talking it looks like I'm looking at the camera but I'm not really I'm looking at where I'm obviously where I'm going um, my hands are free and I just let it roll um, I try to edit out the ranting that if I've ranted about something that bugs me, <laughs> you know, the stuff you don't want to hear. Anyway, um, so that's how I film. Um, when I film the driving scenes, Sorry. I edit those clips and I trim them out and zoom in so you just see the scenery and you don't see my dashboard. Um, and I do that afterwards. And again, I always, if I'm going to film driving sequences, I always do it. Uh, before I start the car and get going and then I stop it when I get to wherever I've gone and I cut out anything that's blurry, unfocused, um, shaky, um, and sometimes if I'm driving far away like I'm going to do right now, um, it's just too much driving so then I cut it out. Uh, so anyway, I hope that answers some questions. Of course I'm safe. Um, I <laughs>
I'm not going to show you all the driving time because hello boring, but something like that. I just got to my destination, car's turned off, and uh, yeah, we're at Hobby Lobby. I have a gift card that I need to spend. I just have to. Somebody twist my arm. Um, it doesn't, it has like 55 cents on it. I know, right? Um, it's actually my husband's gift card. Um, he got it and he got some things for himself and, um, yeah, it's got 55 cents left. So, um, I'm going to go spend it and probably. <laughs> stop at the staples down here because there's some velcro clear plastic pockets I'm always looking for my staples never has them anymore so I'm gonna see if they have them here I'm not gonna hold my breath but if they do I'll buy them I'm so glad I stopped not only are they super nice down here at the staples in Morgan Hill California so if you have a chance stop by um, but they had a whole bunch of them yay I'm gonna go to the car and I'll show you what they are and I'll talk to you about what I use them for Okay, so they are called, what are they called? Gusseted binder pockets, 200 sheet capacity, um, item number 40030. Um, they are a Staples brand item. And these are, they have them in the big full size binder size or these little ones, which I like the little ones. I use mini binders in my office to store different things like stickers, um, store-bought die cuts like Tim Holtz, the Tim Holtz people. And I have different binders for different things. And um, in my image binders, like my die cut binder um, with my Tim Holtz people and stuff in it, um, each collection of things has its own pocket. So I'm always looking for more of these pockets, not only um, to sort and clean and organize things in my office, but um, they are plastic. They do wear out, not super fast, but um, I'm finding more and more uses for them in my office. The th problem is I like the clear ones and they can't just order you clear. They come in a variety pack um, when they get the shipments and the cases in. So um, I just hit the different stores that I'm near and I usually pull out all the clear ones and buy those. I got really lucky today. Usually I get two or three whenever I stop at a Staples. I got nine today. I think I'm good and I probably don't need any more going forward. That's a lot. I, it's really bright. <laughs> I, I put a sweatshirt on before I left because it was cold and now I'm boiling. <laughs> so I may come off at some point. All right. I'll be back. It's a good thing I didn't go very far. I had to pull over because I was going the wrong way. I got lost again. So I got what I needed and I'm sitting in the parking lot and there's this really nice older gentleman in an MG sitting next to me uh, in the parking lot. A really cool old car. I know you can't see it from this angle but um, a super nice guy. He and I were chatting and yeah, I like this store. I hate the parking lot. It's a problem. <laughs> so anyway, we got the last thing we needed and now I just need to wait <coughs> my turn <laughs> from the millions of other people who are all trying to get out at the same time, including the nice gentleman and we're going to let him go first. It's a super cool car. You just don't see those around here too much. So cool. All right. I'll be Interesting back. bug on my windshield, but he's too 
light colored to photograph well, or at least I can't get them in the camera lens. It could be I'm tired. I can always tell when it's time to come home because my shoulders both hurt. So yeah, and we're there. So that's it for today, I think. I'll be Good back. Good morning. It is Thursday, January 18th. It's about 8.45 in the morning. I'm running a, a little bit behind. I started send, uh, chatting with Miss Cindy Utter this, this morning and setting up some things to help out some of the smaller YouTubers and their demonetization issue. And then was like, crap, I've gotta leave. I need to go to physical therapy. I'm gonna walk. It is only about 10 minutes away. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, thankfully. I need to get my steps in, so this is the way to do it, I think. So anyway, we did a lot of driving yesterday. My shoulders are kind of sore. So we'll see how it goes, I don't know. I have video to film for my creative year this afternoon for February and I have two commitment videos for February. I need to film, uh, if not today, tomorrow. Uh, so I need to work on that too, so I can spend Saturday editing. And uh, I think that's my only plans for the next day or two besides laundry and fun stuff like that. Anyway, all right, that's it. I'll be back. <laughs> Hello everybody, it is Friday afternoon, it's 2.31 exactly, and I spent the morning, um, oh, Friday, January 19th, sorry, and I've spent the morning um, working out on the treadmill. Somebody remind me not to do that again before I've taken my asthma medicine for the day, because that was pretty stupid, I forgot. <sighs> yeah, that wasn't good. Anyway. Then I sat and just did some art and chatted with friends and I was working on explorations of me for February um, while I was chatting with friends and I gave them all a sneak peek of my table while I was working so they saw what I did but they couldn't hear what I was saying. Um, so if you're in the Zoomers, you didn't see anything. <laughs> um, I am headed out now to go get um, some take and bake pizza for tonight's dinner. The kids are coming over. And what else am I doing? <laughs> oh, getting the mail and I need some coffee creamer. So, yes, we're gonna go run a couple of errands. <laughs> hey guys, it's Saturday, January. Crap, 20th, I think? I think it's the 20th. Anyway, uh, I have spent the morning um, filming one last video sort of series and I kept having to refilm like different parts because I kept changing my mind about how I wanted the intro and ending and what I wanted to show. Anyway, <laughs> it's all done and now I'm downloading all the footage and I need to um, start editing. I have the house to myself for most of today. My husband's off um, doing a few things um, with his Masonic group. Uh, I'm a little tired. Uh, I didn't sleep super well last night, so there's that. Um, but anyway, I am gonna just spend some day, some time chilling at the house today. Uh, I'll need to go out later and pick up a couple things at Staples, the office supply store, and get the mail, which are in the same shopping center, so right across the street from here. So I'm gonna go do that a little bit later, but I think first I'm gonna go sit and have some lunch and maybe watch some YouTube catch up on a few things. Uh, if you haven't heard yet about YouTube deciding to demonetize little channels who don't have a thousand subscribers yet and don't have 4,000 hours of watch time, then uh, I have a video I will link in the description below called Please Help. And there is a running um, uh, document that my good friend Maridel Abrams has kept updated. She's been great about keeping it updated with the channels that currently need help. We have managed to get a few of them to their goals so they don't get demonetized. We won't get everybody, but every little bit helps and gets them a little bit closer. So if you can help, well, let go over and watch the video and start subscribing to some of the little art channels. 
I'd love to see our art community, no matter the size of your channel, big or small, uh, lend a helping hand to each other. That would be great. Um, that's it right now. I don't have too much else to say, probably because I'm hungry. All right, I'm going to go do that. I'll be back. <laughs>